please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good morning and welcome to the 18th edition of Wake Up Tacoma. Today is Monday, October 1st. Our top story today, this, is, this, message, this message is for any student who signed up to meet with the Blair Cap and Visitor. You should have received a pass from your period two teacher to go directly to Mr. Little's chorus room 145 during eighth grade lunch. If you have your lunch, please go directly to one, room 145. If you need to purchase lunch, go directly to the cafeteria to get your lunch. You do not have to wait for Mr. DeGaspers to tell you to get your lunch. Just go by lunch and then head to room 145. Attention all TPMS students who love to run and want to get some exercise after school. We have the club for you. We are the running club and we meet on Tuesdays after school in room 308 before taking a run in the neighborhood. There are permission forms in the main office. Come on out and join us tomorrow in room 308 if you can. And now a special report on the GSA from field reporter Zeta W. Every Tuesday, the GSA meets in Ms. Anderson's room. It's a great experience and opportunity. Let's go take a closer look. Um, I originally joined GSA when I was in sixth grade and I hadn't come out yet and it was um, an opportunity to talk to people in the same community as me and it was really helpful. It's important because we need people who feel unsafe and feel like they can't be themselves to know that there's somewhere they can go where they can be themselves without fear of being judged. I run GSA to give a uh, space for all students to feel comfortable and a place where they can either come out or ask questions about their gender or sexuality or come and support friends who might be part of the LGBTQ community. It's something I do because I feel like middle school is a really hard time for a lot of people, especially if you're part of the LGBTQ community, so it's a safe space for those students. You should, and you shouldn't be like scared of what like your friends might say or like think about it because it's a really fun place. My favorite part is how like how much of a family you really become because you can share basically anything in there and people will be supportive and give you advice and everything. My favorite part is probably check-in because it's nice to see what's going on in everyone's lives. And sure, sometimes there are some bad stories, but it's always nice to hear a nice story of like, hey, I came out today, it went really well. Like, um, I originally, originally joined in seventh grade when I started coming to school. I came because a lot of my friends were there and I felt like it was a safe place for me to like be myself. I joined because I wanted like a new space to just hang out and make friends because I'm lonely. My favorite part is um, probably just like helping people that need advice with different everyday problems that like I've been through and um, I've been struggling in that situation. I agree with RJ. I think the most fun is to like give people advice because I like doing that. So. As you can see, the GSA is a fun and supporting environment for all. This is the Zeta Willis with Channel 18 News signing off. Are you okay? Are we getting any more entries? Yo, yo, kids. Welcome back. Are you interested in trying out for Science Bowl? Not sure? Curious? Check out Science Bowl. Check out the Science Bowl Google Classroom page for information about tryouts and how to study. The classroom code is SNG101. Again, the classroom code is SNG101. The first round of tryouts will be on October 18th after school in room 110. Please contact Ms. Epling or Mr. Kornfeld if you have any questions. Attention math fans, tomorrow is the day. Tryouts will be held after school tomorrow in the cafeteria for all students interested in joining the Math Counts team. This session is for all new and returning members. If you wish to try out and cannot attend tomorrow's session, you must see or email Ms. Manchester today about a makeup time. Questions? See Ms. Manchester in room 317. Attention 7th grade girls who met with YMCA counselors earlier this week. 
please return your permission forms as soon as possible so that they can get started and the fun can begin. If you need an extra permission form, please see Ms. Hankins. Attention sixth grade girls. If you are interested in joining Community Bridges, an awesome after-school program focused on empowering girls and building leadership skills, come to Counseling to get an application. Hurry though, spaces are limited and you must have a signed permission form. This just in. This just in. Attention all TPMS students. A very unique opportunity is coming soon. It is an opportunity to let your voice be heard and to make an impact on the issues facing youth in our local community, as well as communities all around the nation. Now take your calendars out. Find, out, find October 14th and write down Youth Town Hall Meeting from 2 to 5 p.m. at the Tacoma Park Community Center. There will be free pizza if you register early. Please see Mr. Gehring in room 210 for a flyer and more information. This Justin as well. Attention all Difference Makers members and those who would like to join. Due to the incredibly large turnout of the students last week, we have decided to modify our meeting schedule. So, listen closely. Grade six students will meet on Wednesdays in room 140. Grade seven and eight students will meet on Thursdays in room 140. This will be our meeting schedule for the next several weeks. Wednesday meetings are for grade six students only. Please see Mr. Gehring in room 210 if you are a grade seven or eight student that can only attend on Wednesday. Thursday meetings are for grade seven and eight only. Again, please see Mr. Gehring in room 210 if you are a grade six student and can only attend on Thursdays. Thank you so much for your attention and we will see you on Wednesday if you are a sixth grade student and on Thursday if you are in grade seven or eight. This just in as well. Attention all TPMS staff, students, and community members. Members, the TPMS Difference Makers Annual Fresh Fruit Sale Fundraiser has begun. If you purchase one case of fruit, not only do you get an absolutely delicious product, but you also get to support the seller, Tacoma Park Middle School Difference Makers, and our food pantry. If you are interested in purchasing some fruit, please see Mr. Gehring in room 10. See a Difference Makers member or go online to www.differencemakers.com dash or dot difference dash makers dot org and place your order online by clicking the fruit sale tab remember your small act can make a big impact get big impact <laughs> <laughs> join us in making a, a difference we will now have our mindfulness minute for today's mindfulness minute rela just relax and think about what you want to achieve for this week So peaceful. This has been Juan Gell. And this has also been Philip with Wake Up Tacoma. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day.